What's this I see? Do we have all six gems at long last? Yes, we do. And it only took another six bones. That said, random chance is never a good thing when you're trying to get items that you really need. Here's something for your pantry. Oh! Thanks. I did not know that if you just put the bones down, it will trigger that. I learned something new. What I also learned is that getting these gems is a severe pain. But we have them now. Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play The Legend of Kyrandia 3, Malcolm's Revenge. And when last we left off, we finally have all of the gems that make up the treasure of the Isle of Cats. We have the sapphire, we have the ruby, we have a diamond, we also have the amethyst, we got all of these before, we also have two new ones in the form of the topaz, a topaz, and an emerald. An emerald? Now that we have them all, we need to head back over to that altar, and to that area with the six statues that we made visible by using the leather mouse. We first have to go through the jungle. This is not going to be that difficult. We'll just, uh, there we go. Get rid of that, and get rid of this. There we go. And then get rid of this, and that, and this. We really want to go and use that mud bath, and we really don't want that bone. I never want to see another bone ever again in this game. Maybe a short mud bath will get rid of these three. You know, I'm losing count of how many mud baths you've had, Malcolm. It's certainly a lot. Ah, much better. No more fees. Excellent. Let us move on and quickly head through the jungle. I wonder if we need to clear all of these, or if we just need to clear the ones that are in the uh, direction where we want to head. So if we get rid of these ones, and that, and this, can we then head up? It's worth checking. Let's see what happens if we, uh, yes, you can actually just head up. We don't want to head up though right now. We want to head to the left so that we can get over to where Fluffy is. There we go, because that is the way to get to the altar of cats. Off you go. And we are here. We've been here before, many times in fact. We'll quickly clear a path upwards and then we don't want that bone. Away with you, bone! Where is the machete? That bottle must be good fertilizer. Is it over here? Good. Didn't want to lose that. That said, we could only see a few pixels of the machete. Would have been bad if we'd have lost that. And up we go. Excellent. We are back here. And I think we want to go this way. This way will take us to the altar, and we definitely want to go to that altar. Also, can we go up on this screen? Let's just check. Yes, we can. I'll keep that in mind. While we head over here, and I try to do something with this uh, selection of gems. I get the feeling we couldn't put the uh, leather mouse here, so instead we have to put the gems here. Let's try this gem on the altar. Ah, excellent! That gives us a hint as to uh, where that's to go. The sapphire goes where the storm symbol was, which is the fifth statue. We got archaeologist points there. Marvelous. What about the ruby? Let's try this gem on the altar. The ruby is fire. Not surprisingly. There we go. What about the diamond? Let's try this gem on the altar. You saw it here first, the moon is made of diamond. It's not actually made of diamond, do not believe what Malcolm says. Even when nice mode is selected, he might be lying about that one. Let's try this gem on the altar. This is rain. Fair enough. I'm slowly writing all of these down so that I get it right when we head over to those statues. What about the topaz? Let's try this gem on the altar. Not surprisingly, the topaz represents the sun. Sun! And we will check, though we don't really need to due to the process of elimination, but the emerald should Let's be wind. Try this gem on the altar. Worth checking just in case, but the emerald corresponds to wind. There we 
go, we now know where every single one of these gems needs to go. Let us put them where they belong, by heading over to those statues. Off we go, Malcolm! Time to go and free the cats. At least I hope this is what this does. In order, I don't know if this is random every time, but at least for Malcolm this time, the order is as follows. First, the diamond. We get hopeful points because we're hopeful that this will work. We also uh, want to put the topaz next. And then the third one, it's just a shame the down arrow prevents us from easily getting to the inventory, is the amethyst. Put that there, and we'll head to the other side of this area, to the final three. We need to do it in the order of emerald, sapphire, and ruby. Emerald, sapphire, and ruby. Good work! Let's take that magic and go make arrangements to get off this rock. Well, I think we've succeeded. This is a crystal mouse. It looks quite important. And this is the completed statue arrangement with all the gems. He looks unusually calm for a food item. That the mouse does. There's only one way we can leave, I imagine, and that is over here. We have some magic. At least I hope the crystal mouse is magic. And the cats are now back! We could have a conversation with them, I imagine. I don't think it's going to get us anywhere, but we can try. Go away. I'm taking a nap. If I wasn't so busy, I'd take one too. Indeed, you keep talking about having a nap. Let us go and talk to Fluffy, and report on our success. Hello, Fluffy. First, we're going to clear away all of this uh, foliage so that we can easily uh, move away from here. Where's the snake? The snakes will be somewhere. Not here yet. Probably over here. Yep, there they are. And we got some more bones. We don't need to pick them oh, up anymore. Well, must be good fertilizer. Let us talk to you. You are indeed great pitch. Ah, uh, shucks. It was nothing. Indeed, it was nothing. We only went and got loads of bones from the jungle to then give to a dog so that the dog wouldn't give us all the gems, and then we had to go and get more bones, and then the dog didn't give us all the gems again, and then we went to get more bones, and then the dog gave us all the gems, and then we went to go figure out the order of the gems that we need to place them in. It was actually a lot of work. A lot of work, but sure, it was nothing. What does this even do? Let's find out. Oh, great. This is just fantastic. Nice work, Squeaky. What should we do now? Go scare some elephants? I haven't even seen any elephants. How could we scare them? So, we're in a bit of a bind right now. We're a mouse. You are indeed a great pig. Yeah, sure, but I'm a mouse. Maybe you could turn us back if we switch modes? How about lying? We really want to be turned back. Change me back, and quickly! I have important revolutionary work to continue. Need some cheese. Cheese? Do we have any cheese? What if we do nice first? Do I have to stay like this forever? Need some cheese. Do you have any? Ah, that's better. Excellent! Nice going, Jungle Boy! We got some thank goodness points, and the knowledge that we need to uh, get cheese to turn back into uh, a non-mouse form after we've been uh, affected by that magic. We want to get out of here. We want to go back to the dog fort so that we can get a lift back to uh, where we want to go. All right, we know how to do this. We just head, uh, there we go, we go this way. Oh, get rid of you. And we need to head up, because up will bring us back to the screen we were on before, and then we can just head back to the fort. And hopefully the dogs will be able to help us out. Then again, all the cats are no longer working, so there's the chance that that won't happen. Oh, careful. Also, did that bone 
appear when we defeated that snake. That may have happened. Curious. I think we've cleared everything away, so up we go to head back to the fort. Ah, I see a problem. Why aren't you harvesting? All the cats quit. Yes, that's kind of a problem. You poor dog. You might have to do the job yourself. Are you nuts? I don't think they're going to do the job. Perhaps you can qualify for a retraining program. I can't. I'm old and have difficulty learning new skills. Well, they do say that you can't teach an old dog new tricks. You may have to. You may have to learn some things very quickly. Let us talk to you. Do you have anything new to say? Hey, where'd all your cats go? You tell me. I certainly don't have anything to do with it. I totally did have something to do with it. Hey, where'd all your cats go? You tell me. Maybe we could try lying mode and get a different piece of dialogue? I don't have any idea what could have happened. Lucky for me, I've got all those bones buried. Yes, you do. It was us that gave them to you. So we cannot rely upon uh, using this to get over to uh, the beach with the pirates. Unfortunate. We could try. So, where's your beast of burden? When those colossus things were restored, all the cats left. Probably because all of the mice returned. So we're going to have to find uh, a way to get over to that beach ourselves, and I have a theory. There are many ways that these we... are too thick to cut. No, I want to cut these ones, Malcolm. There we go. There are many ways that we have been, but one way that we haven't been is north of where Fluffy is. We could certainly go that way and see if we can find a uh, route to go. But first, yet another mud bath. Gotcha. After we've got rid of that flame. Good riddance. Let's just move over here and take care of all of them. Maybe a short mud bath will get rid of these flames. We won't have this problem in Karandia, that's for sure. Or will we? No, we won't have this problem. Ah, much better. No more flames. And that's good. Let us go and uh, head this way. We need to head this way twice, and then we need to head up to get to where Fluffy is. Let's just get rid of this, and this, and we should be able to go this way without any further problems. Or not, we need to clear away something else clearly. Probably up here. Let's just get rid of everything, shall we? And inevitably find those snakes. Not here. Here they are! And there they're not. We'll get rid of this too. Two piles of bones! If I was trying to get those gems, I'd be really happy. But I'm not, so let's go. And here we are, where we can get to Fluffy. If we just clear the way up, we should be fine. Ow, that shot. I do that with alarming regularity. We just need to uh, make sure we're clicking in the right location. That should be sufficient. So we'll just head up here. And I want to try heading up from where Fluffy is. It's basically one of the few places I haven't gone, so it's pretty much the uh, only way I can think of going to get to where, ooh, more of them, to get to where um, the pirates are. There we go. Let us head up, shall we? Okay, I haven't been here before. This is a good sign. Just clear away all of this and see which way we can go. There are more bones, we don't need them. Let us instead keep looking around and see what uh, Malcolm has to say. I wonder how Kamek is doing. I've no idea. I hope he's okay and doesn't get hurt or anything. I want to kill him myself. I was getting a bit curious as to why you were so concerned about Kalik. Now I know. Let's head up again, shall we? Oh, hello! What were you doing here? And you're gone anyway, so we can't ask you. Let's clear away all of this and see what we can find. Probably more deadly snakes. It's a good thing that when they appear, you can mostly click through Malcolm to go and deal with them. That's quite nice. What do you have to say about over here, Malcolm? This jungle fun is wearing thin. 
You're finding it fun to be in here? I've got to get back to Corandia. Yes, you do. Why did you even leave is probably the question. North we go. Aha! We have found the beach. Which is good, because now we can show off our magic. How are we going to do this? Can we use it on anyone? Stay away from me, you purple dog. I don't think it's going to work there. Keep that thing away from me. Try Louis. Oh! Try you, eh? Let's try it on you. Maybe. You look good as a mouse, Billy. You do look pretty funny, Lou. All right, I admit I see some potential with this magic. You've got yourself a ride, Jester. Great. Let's get away from this flea infested island. Excellent plan. for the taking. This is the worst attack I've ever seen. Not so fast, Malcolm. Let's go see what Kallik thinks of your little adventure. Well, that didn't work. You are incorrigible, Malcolm. We have no choice but to banish you to the ends of the earth. And luckily, we have been able to hire this fine seaman to take you there on his ship. Herman, pay Mr. Barbecue his fee, please. Thank you, Monsieur Kallek. It will be my pleasure to rid your country of these scoundrels. That could have gone better. A lot better. Girlfriend Ruina says you earned some money in jail. Who? Here you go. I've no idea who they're referring to. Uh, that attack on Corandia didn't work out too well, did it? No. No, it did not at all. Also, who on earth were they referring to? I haven't met a character by that name. Perhaps a road taken differently in our escape from Kyrandia would have revealed that character. But we haven't met that person ever. Where's all the other tourists? Do you really think there'd be tourists here, Malcolm? I'll bet this place is crowded on the weekends. Probably not. I think saving right now is a good thing to do. Also, we have some pennies. They don't pay much in prison. Is that Brandon's head on that? I think it is. It's grown a beard, I see. Let us save, because, uh, we are in a bit of a bad situation. We have been banished to the edge of the world. And there's a waterfall, just cascading water into oblivion. Looks like I can take a ride. You certainly could. I'm not afraid of barrel riding. Off you go, then! <whistles> well, we've ended up down. Down here. Daredevil points indeed. Here are some uh, shoes. Now I'm ready to climb. Excellent. We can now climb. I don't know where we're climbing to. What is this? It's a shoehorn. Ah, that must be a child size. Oh. Now I'm ready to climb. Oh, you've put them on your... Ah, okay, you put them on your uh, feet. But we're a bit trapped. These cleats should help me swim up. You were no 
never much of a swimmer, were you? I think we might have died. Suffice to say, I don't think, uh, diving down there was a good idea. And so, when we come back, folks, we're going to have to figure out what we're doing here, and what these are. Deposit one coin, please. Ah, we're going to be getting things from this, I imagine. Probably things that we select from there. But what do we want to select? And we also can't go left or right. Or up! We can only go down! We better select the right items. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later. Things certainly didn't work out for you, did they, Malcolm? Then again, your strategy sort of lacked everything. Absolutely everything. Later.